Hey guys, Zenos here and Simslog in Exos Heroes. Finally, the update is completed and man, it's time to claim all those massive number of rewards that we were guaranteed, we were promised to get after the Season 3 update and it's in here guys. Now it's time to check out those update rewards and the most sweetest out of all is going to be the Gold Fate Core Selection Ticket. Oh my god, it definitely does uh, make you able to select any gold fedco hero unit out there including the generals out there as well like fedco battery fedco raquel and so on and on and now the main question is out there which particular hero unit should you be really selecting yes <laughs> with a great option comes a really great confusion right <laughs> so it's time for me to give you guys some tips and advices all right so let's get this started if you are a beginner, then you should really go with the Fate Core Battery. She is going to be the best unit that you can get right away as a beginner because the way that she actually allows you to help a lot through not only just the PvE story contest but also the PvP Javan standard battles, she is a massive unit. I mean, like, she is really good. She just cannot go wrong. That's how good she is. Her Triangle Mark effect can be shared by so many other hero units, even including the common hero unit known as the Underwalking Rats that can use her Triangle ability in order to break the guardian stones of the opponents like three at a time random guardian stones that is so freaking op uh, it can really help you a lot in core raid battles core raid is one of the very important or essential part of this game which allows you to get up to two generals some people actually claim they may they were able to claim up to three generals in just one core raid that's how important it is and battery is just gonna make it way way easier indeed all right that's how good she is and if you have fed core in uh, team up with her Definitely, these two units are going to wreck mayhem, especially in the PvP Zeman standard battles. That's how good they are. So that's an end on the first priority should go to the Fate Core Battery if you are a beginner. If you already do have Fate Core Battery then go for the Fate Core Rara. She is going to really make it worth it. First of all, she's a fast guardian unit uh, and with that one, she has this bonus of Dragon Wrath and Dragon Scale which will allow her to be very strong in terms of uh, DPS output as well as the protection from the uh, incoming damages. She becomes really unkillable out there, especially for the beginning contents out there and including even in the PvP Zeman standard battles, you will be able to easily dominate your opponents when you have fed core arena around she is the fastest unit in the game and she can really hurt the opponents as well she's so good so good so good and after getting the fed core arena you might really want to get to the Fate Core Tantala. Provided that you already have Fate Core Battery and Fate Core Rera, then the next option should be really Fate Core Tantala. He is the one that has really established the current stall meta. If you have Fate Core Tantala in your team, worry not guys, you are going to go very long way in the Zeman Estonia battles. PvP content is one of the steady way of getting a lot of sass every freaking week all right and on top of that one if you manage to get a lot of uh, devonis tenure points or let's say the arena pvp medals you will be able to exchange them for various sorts of amazing items including the memory of generals in the hey one old shop so that is really good out there so definitely with the fate core tantala being around you will have easy time in dominating opponents out there but there's going to be a little bit of one conditions out there please try to have genai i mean like uh, sorry dorka in your team okay so try to get dorka as soon as possible it was quite uh, quite it was quite easy before because Dorka was uh, given for free uh, in the Leafy 7 days login reward before. Uh, right now she's not available but still once you have Dorka, Fedco Tantala will shine so good. Okay, He's the one who is establishing the current stall meta. If you have a really good healer that's going to be working really fine as well. So Fedco Tantalo being the third most best and after Fedco Tantalo definitely try to go for the Fedco Iris. She's the one that's going to count the first guardians. If you don't have Fate Core Iris, then well, the first guardians are really gonna hurt you, right? Their dragon scale can be a really big problem and that can make them immortal in the PvP Javan standard battles, all right? And with the uh, Fate Core Iris being around, it will be quite easy to counter them. And not only that one, she will also be able to counter the incoming frost element damages, like the damages coming from the frost unit, uh, frost hero units, like let's say Bathory out there, who is very commonly found in the Gemini's Tenure battles. Uh, she will be able to nullify the uh, incoming damages from the frost element hero units for one time, and she's going to provide that attack uh, buff uh, of 50% attack boost for entire team out there as well, and that's so cool. Uh, and on top of that one, she also had that power 
power of modification and if there is a super super can signature force unlocked she can actually do some even insane damage out there she has a lot of capability out there and she is a must-have unit indeed that's gonna be the fate core iris okay and if you have somehow all of those then well you can actually now start moving on to the next uh, a batch of really amazing unit that's gonna be the fed core gi and fed core shell they really work together really nice especially this fed core gi you gotta have her and on top of that one she also is a general unit and uh, she can really uh, create that huge attack speed gap between you and your opponent uh, allowing your uh, allies to have very advantage again very much advantage against your opponents offensively uh, out there in the Javanese standard battles okay Javanese this gi is so cool Fedcore G9, hands down, really awesome. And Fedcore Shell, she is one of the OP characters out there. Being able to provide an extra turn to whoever you want in your team right away in one round, that can give you a very insane uh, advantage against your opponents. Not only that, she also provides plus 3 mana to that particular target and so on and on. So many things happening around, so that is it, uh, all right? So those are the priorities that I have listed out for now. And the rest of the characters, you can go on with that one. After that one, maybe you can actually go out for taking the Fedcore Gion, or you can go for with of Fedco Talia and so on and on it's really up to you but that's got to be the core units out there all right and so that is it guys and how about if you are a little bit advanced player like I already have those units so how do I actually pick my hero unit out here and it's pretty simple go out for generals okay if you don't have Fedco Tantalo so far then well you're making a mistake try to go ahead and get Fedco Tantalo right away but if you already have Fedco Tantalo then well it's time to start selecting the general units because first of all they are very very rare unit and having the gold Fedco hero unit it's a it's like two birds with one stone, all right? Try to get either Fedco Raquel, Fedco Shufrakan, Fedco uh, Battery, Fedco Garf, or let's say our uh, Fedco Jina as well right over here, guys. Try to get any one of them, especially that one uh, who's, uh, you know, like super signature force is still not unlocked. But if you have already attained at least 1.1 signature force of every uh, general out there, then well, in that case, try to pick that general unit which you have really progressed much further, okay? I mean, like, your next priority is, is supposed to be, like, unlocking the Signature Force 2.2, right? So, in order to unlock that one, try to pick those general units who is n near to actually acquiring that ability out there, the Signature Force version 2.2. And for that one, uh, just pick whoever is going to be the best option out there for you guys. For me, it's going to be the... Fate core battery okay i am really high way up there for the battery signature force so uh, definitely it will be a really great help for me for now to pick the fate core battery okay and that's it and done now let's start talking about the other stuff all right what are the other rewards that we are going to get right now so well so many stars so many stars receive all receive all okay yeah let's receive all guys five and eleven stones and so on and on and these are the materials that's gonna be really 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 helpful especially for the beginners out there really cool rewards all right receive all and the currency right over here guys these are so much of currencies out here oh my god a nation recruit tickets and so on and on oh my <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot ladies and gentlemen that's a lot okay uh, let's try to click on receive all right over here guys and we are receiving 3400 says 45 nation recruit tickets that's what I'm getting right now 130 die coupons and so much more man I am really really happy oh my god this got to be the one of the best time to start rerolling your new account in excess heroes if you are not really satisfied with whatever you have got so far in your account or you are a new player and you really want to have a good head start in the game well this is the time to actually start playing excess heroes excess heroes had never been such generous before and now it's really happening for God's sake oh my god I'm really really happy with that one and and that's it and done. The 11 times free recruit is also out here that you can take advantage of. And it's going to be a really great run indeed. Okay, let's try to use it right over here. Uh, let's see if I can actually get it done. Uh, let's see if I can actually really get a very good unit out here. <laughs> if I can, that would be so good, isn't it? A really great way to start season three. Okay, come on. Come on, Fazis. Okay, skip. Okay, the new year, uh, the, the you know, like the, 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 the settings is actually over now. And now we can actually skip this kind of like animation features uh, for legendary faded and fed core units out there as well all right so we really don't have to see this kind of crap anymore uh, that's what it uh, has said that what we can um, configure in the settings menu okay let's move on to the next character next character come on come on come on come on 
Come on, come on, give me something, give me something, give me something good, give me something good, come on, please. Uh, ah, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, oh, how <laughs> is it? Hello, I'm <sighs> no, 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 I mean, like, she's a new unit for me, but, man, I really don't need her. Shit! Ah, should I call this a really super luck or super bad luck? Ah, man! Out of all, like. Okay, okay, whatever that is. Okay, uh, that's that's uh, that's uh, fate or leafy for you guys, and I'm not really a big fan of her. Fate or violence. Okay, and next thing is that like you might actually want to know. And that should you be really summoning in this blooded rhapsody right over here or not, right? Uh, would you really want to get this uh, this carry right over here or not? And I would say like go for it. Okay, there's like 28 PD summons. If there were, if there was no, uh, you know, like hero mileage or PD summon, then I would have really suggested not to summon in here. But for a general to drop at 0.5 percent chance is really huge. Okay, if you are going to actually look into the you know, like, 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 rates right over here. Look at this, man. With the new general added, now the drop rate for the other generals are really, really, really low. Oh, for example, let's go into the premium recruitment. Uh, let's look the rates right over here. For a general unit to drop, okay. Uh, sorry, 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 not in there. Come on, come on. Uh, where is that? Where is that? Naomi. Oh, come on, where are the generals? Okay, for a general character to drop right now, it's gonna be 0.024% chance. That's really, really low. Especially if you really want to get a general of certain type. It's really low, guys, all right? And now the carry is another general out there that has been recently introduced who has a drop rate of 0.5% chance, all right? And yes, she is worth summoning. Whatever you guys say guys, I mean like you might really love to disagree with my point Then please do let me know in the comment section below why what but in my opinion She's definitely worth summoning first of all she's a general and definitely her signature force is gonna be out there uh, Anyway anytime soon all right, and the next thing is that like uh, you, this is a really good time to get multiple copies of her. 0.5% chance is pretty good, alright? You might actually get some multiple copies of her, and that can be quite helpful later on in order to unlock her signature force out there. I mean, like, this is a really great chance, alright? Uh, consider general units are, like, uh, similar... I would consider consider them nearly like gold fed cohere units. Like, you know, those other normal general gold fed cohere units. I really do consider them like that. Why? Because they are the one that actually enables the signature force to be unlocked, which is nearly the... I mean, like, which is the well force, in fact, in this game. If you have the signature force unlocked to the higher levels, man, <laughs> you are going to dominate your opponents, whether it be the historic contest or the Javanese tenure battles, all right? So, yeah, it's totally worth it. It's totally, totally worth it, in my opinion. How about you guys? Let me know in the comment section below. So, that's why I'm going to be using my CES in order to get carry right away in the next video video all right so well and that's it and done man i'm really really happy as of now and uh, the thing is that like chapter 15 is unlocked as well i guess and with uh, chapter 15 definitely there are so many cool stuffs out there <laughs> okay and the chapter 14 is nerfed all right and uh, now it's time to get clear of the chapter 14 the bronze session and it's time to move on to the new nation and that's going to be known as the uh the the, the 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 saint waste right yes the saint waste all right okay so that is it anyways that's it and done this is it for today guys i would really love to wrap my video at this point and uh, let me know if you guys have additional insights and is your opinions especially about the fit core uh gold fate core hero unit selection recruit ticket then well let me know in the comment section below and that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and see you guys in the next video